Well, guys, it's Mr. Downtown Ray Mullen. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, June 28th, 2021. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Reddit said actress Phoebe DeNever has landed a new film role. The rap confirmed Friday that DeNever will star in the Sony picture thrill I Heart Murder. I Heart Murder is directed by Matt Spicer. The movie is about a, is a female-driven thriller, but plot details are being kept under wraps. Spicer co-wrote the screenplay with Tom O'Donnell, Doug Wick, and Lucy Fisher's Red Wagon Entertainment will produce the film. Deadline first reported to Never's casting. The Never will also star in The Color Room, a Sky original film about 20th century ceramic artist Clarice Cliff. The Never is known for playing Phoebe Bridgerton on the Netflix series Bridgerton. Netflix has yet to announce a release date for season two of the period drama, although production is kept under underway. The Never said in an interview on a Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon this month that she cried upon her return to the Bridgerton set. Uh, she said, it was so nice to be back. It's such a nice feeling. Oh, it was the best. I cried like seven times when I came back because so much has happened, you know, since the first season. Obviously, COVID and the show coming out and just seeing everyone again. The Walking Dead alum, Laura Holden, has joined the season three cast of Amazon Prime Video superhero action dramedy, The Boys. Holden will play the Heron Crimson Countess on a recurring basis, Variety reported. The boys' teams, uh, the boys' Twitter feed said, Welcome to the team, along with the link to the news story. The show is based on a graphic novel by Garth Ennis and Derek Robinson. It stars Carl Urban, Jack Quaid, Chase Crawford, Anthony Starr, Dominique McGelted. Uh, Jesse Usher, Nathan Mitchell, Alex Hassel, and Aaron Moriarty. Holden's other film cr- uh, TV credits include The Americans, The X-File, and The Shield. Filming has ended on the BBC Limited series, This Is Going to Hurt. The seven-episode adaptation of Adam Kay's book will star Ben Wishaw, Harry Walter, Ambika Mode, Michelle Austin, Alex Jennings, and Roy Fleck Byrne. Kay wrote and produced the series. Lucy Forbes directed the first four episodes, and Tom Kingsley helmed the other three. Follows a doctor who, quote, who we will find wending his way through the ranks of hospital hierarchy, uh, uh, junior, uh, junior enough to suffer the crippling hours, but senior enough to face a constant barrage of terrifying responsibilities. Adam is clinging to his personal life as he is increasingly overwhelmed by the stresses at work, nine seven hour weeks, the life and death decisions, and all the while knowing the hospital parking meter is earning more than him. The first two seasons of the Chris Rock show began, began streaming on HBO Max Friday. The comedian's late night talk show, which also featured comedy sketches and social commentary, originally aired on HBO from 1997 to 2000. Guests include Prince, George Carlin, Jesse Jackson, Whoopi Goldberg, Missy Elliott, and salt and pepper DJ and rapper Grandmaster Flash was the show's musical director. Nina Rosenstein, the executive vice president of HBO programming, said in a statement, We're thrilled to have the Chris Rock show on HBO Max so that subscribers can revisit one of comedy's most iconic series. Chris has never been afraid to take risks and challenge his norms, and both his guests and viewers embrace this as well. His show also provided a platform uh, for up-and-coming talent and cutting-edge musical guests. And while there are too many unforgettable comedy pieces to name, Chris attempts to rename a Howard Beach Street to Tupac Boulevard as a classic that instantly comes to mind. It's one of uh, many uh, a, a classics that instantly comes to mind. It's one of the many examples of why we're excited for fans and new audiences alike to watch the show. MSC has canceled his dramedy, The Good Girls, after four seasons. The series wasn't a hits, uh, ratings hit on the network, 
but was popular in reruns on Netflix according to Deadline. Our reporters said a financial agreement could not be made for a fifth and final season. Um, a deal has been struck to move it to a new home, however. Starring Christina Hendricks, Rita, and Mae Whitman, the show is about a trio of friends who turn to crime to support their families. It was written and produced by Jenna Bands. Hendricks wrote on Instagram Friday, Well, we gave it our all. We really did. Thank you to our amazing fans throughout the years for all your passion and support. Hashtag Good Girls Canceled. At NBC Good Girls Repost. At Mr. Garf. At Unforgettable. NBC also recently canceled Manifest, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and Debris. May and Stallion, her, and Queen Latifah were among the stars who were honored Sunday night with hardware during the 2021 BET Awards hosted in person at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles that aimed to highlight the achievements of black women in the entertainment uh, industry. Uh, Taraji P. Henson hosted the award show celebrating black excellence under the theme Year of the Black Woman. Van the Stallion, who led all the nominations tied with the baby at seven, won four awards, including Best Female Hip Hop Artist. Uh, while accepting the statue on stage before a live audience, she thanked her late mother, Holly Elise Thomas, for inspiring her to become a performer. She said, thank you, Mom, for putting it in me to even want to be a female rapper and putting a work effort inside of me and the drive and the push. She can't be here with me today, but I still think about her every day, and she's the reason I keep going. Megan The Stallion, who performed Thought, uh, shit during the night also won the Viewer's Choice Award. With Cardi B, she won Best Collaboration and Video of the Year for their hit, WAP. Rapper and actress Queen Latifah won this year's Lifetime Achievement Award and gave an impassioned and emotional speech and she, during which she thanked God, her friends, and family and BT for creating an outlet, quote, for beautiful blackness to thrive, to shine. She says, we couldn't get played on the radios in other places. When we couldn't get our videos played in other places, there was BT that allowed us to be in our fullness and to shine to this night right now, right here. Be black. Black is beautiful. Other women to pick up awards during the show included her for Best Female R&B Pop Artist, Andra Day for Best Actress, and Naomi Osaka for Sportswoman of the Year. Men were also honored during the night with the late Chadwick Bosman winning Best Actor, Little Baby winning Best Male Hip Hop Artist, uh, Chris Brown taking home the Best Male R&B Pop Artist Award, and LeBron James winning Sportsman of the Year. Album of the Year went to Hexel Tales by uh, Jasmine Sullivan. During the night, Cardi B performed with the group Migos and unveiled that she was pregnant with her second child by wearing a tight sequence outfit with the belly section cut out. A press release published as she went on stage proclaimed, Taking the stage wearing costume Dolce & Gabbana, Cardi showing off her baby bump as she shared wonderful news with her husband by her side. Variety reported, Cardi B and Migos member Offset have been married since 2017. Lil Nas X, her, and Silk Sonic were among the other performers during that night. Bruce Springsteen reopened Broadway, his Broadway uh, reopened Broadway Saturday night with the limited run of his music and storytelling show Springsteen on Broadway. Uh, performances of the production at the Juju Mice St. James Theater are scheduled through September 4th. This is the first Broadway show to return since the coronavirus pandemic shut down theater and live performances in New York for more than a year. Most other musicals and plays are slated to reopen at the end of the summer and in the fall. Audience, audience members are required to provide proof of full COVID-19 vaccinations to enter the theater. Proceeds from opening night will be donated to New York and New Jersey's charities, such as the Boys and Girls Club of Monmouth County, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, um, Community Food Banks of New Jersey, Food Banks for New York City, Fulfill, Monmouth, and Ocean County Food Banks, the, the Long Island Cares, uh, New Jersey Pandemic Relief Fund, and the Actors Fund. Stage legend Brian Stokes Mitchell celebrated the reopening on Twitter by saying, Welcome back to Broadway, Bruce Springsteen, and thank you for your dedication of a portion of the proceeds of your opening night to the Actors Fund, and, wel and welcome back, Broadway. Springsteen's on Broadway issue ran for 236 sold-out performances from October 2017 through December 2018. 
Springsteen earned a special Tony Award for the show, and Netflix streamed a film adaptation of it. Rapper Polo G's Hall of Fame is the number one album in the United States. Coming in number two on the Billboard 200 charts day at Saturday is Migos Culture 3, followed by Olivia Rodrigo's Sour number three, Little Baby and Little Dirk's The Voice of the Heroes at number four, and Morgan Wallen's Dangerous the Double Album number five. Rounding out the top tier are Twice, The Taste of Love, the tenth mini album at number six, Bull Burnham's Inside the Songs at number seven, Maroon 5's Jordy at number 8, Moneybag Yo's A Gangster's Pain at number 9, and J. Cole's The Offseason at number 10. The Vin Diesel and John Cena action flick F9 is the number one movie in North America, earning $70 million in receipts. Box office Mojo.com announced on Sunday. Variety says this was the biggest premiere of any movie in the United States and Canada since. 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, which debuted at $177.4 million. Coming in number two this weekend with $6.2 million is A Quiet Place 2, followed by The Hitman's Wife's Buddy, Bodyguard at number three with $4.88 million. Peter Rabbit's 2, The Runaway, at number four with $4.85 million. And Corella at number five with $3.7 million. Right at the top tier are The Conjuring, The Devil, the Devil Made Me Do It at number 6 with $2.9 million. In the Heights at number 7 with $2.2 million. Spirit on Tame at number 8 with $1 million. 12 Mighty Orphans at number 9 with $590,000. And Nobody at number 10 with $560,000. Several of the films in the top 10 are also available on streaming platforms in a strategy to reach as many people as possible during the coronavirus pandemic, which kept... Many cinemas closed for nearly a year. Most theaters in the United States and Canada are now open. This week's top 10 gross, about $96 million domestically. Last week's box office top 10, which was led by the Hitman, Hitman's Wife Bodyguard, totaled at about $44 million. And as your entertainment report for Monday, June 28, 2021, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.